Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Another Life mission set in Whittleton Creek, Vermont. And we are now going to pop and wipe up all of the remaining feats and discoveries and little things, bits and pieces that we've missed. Uh, starting with breaking news, we will then move on to They Must Pie. Uh, basically, I should tell you that this goes horribly wrong right from the very start. Uh, after They Must Pie, we will move on to Wet Bandit, which is also a very problematic challenge for me for some reason. And then we will move on to the Doing the Rounds Challenge, Discovery or Feat. And I will explain all of these as we go along. Uh, after that we will move on again to the Raking It In Challenge. Which again becomes quite problematic for me. Along with the Become the Politician Discovery or Feat, which is pretty self-explanatory. And we will also get, uh, in the way of disguises, become the Barbecue King. Which, once again, will go very, very badly for me. But hopefully, if you follow the instructions, it should work fine for you. And we will finish off with Toll Troll. Which is probably the only one that worked first time and no problems. So, I've created a... Uh, contract for this one which is currently up on your screens and we will be bringing with us a number of items so first thing we're going to be bringing will be our ever trusty lockpick our silenced pistol and I am bringing with me a silenced sniping rifle as well and I should point out there is absolutely zero possibility of a silent assassin for this so right from the start off the bat what we're going to do is make our way around to the park into the bushes by the shed we're going to retrieve our sniping rifle and instantly lose our silent assassin rating because we are going to locate this young lady jogging along here and eliminate her and then we're going to eliminate the postman and the person he's talking to we'll replace our sniping rifle there and we're going to take care of this police officer just outside of the bush here grab our sniping rifle and run for our lives. Now what we're doing here basically is a little bit of setup. Uh, many of these people will be in our way at some point. So r as we're running away towards Helen West's house we're going to grab the newspaper that's on the floor because we do require five newspapers hence killing the mailman which means he's just dropped the other four. Once we've made our way to Helen West's house, we're going to lockpick our way down through the basement door. And Helen West will be one of our targets for a couple of our challenges. So we're going to make our way inside, and we're going to make our way up to Helen West's bedroom. And we're going to do a little bit more prep work up here. So we lockpick the basement door, check that the coast is clear, not that it matters. Because if anyone gets in our way today, we will have to John Wick them. So once we're up the stairs, we're going to lockpick our way into Helen West's bedroom. And just on this little rug here, we're going to stop and take out our silent sniping rifle once again. We're going to locate the Barbecue King in the opposite garden. He's around here somewhere. He's quite hard to spot sometimes, because when you look, he's actually ducking down and you can't find him. But he is, there he is. So we're just going to take him out real quick. We're going to replace our sniping rifle. I don't think we're going to be using that anymore, but it is expensive, so we'll bring it with us for a little while. It may come in handy as a melee weapon. So we're going to now make our way back down the stairs. We're going to select our newspaper that we've collected, and we're going to knock out Helen West with the newspaper. That will get us the breaking news challenge. It won't pop for me because I'd accidentally had a recording error and a few of these challenges won't pop for me. As you saw there, my timing stank because the guard came out of the bathroom just as I had knocked her out. But once we've got Helen unconscious and the guard incapacitated, we're going to drag Helen's body down into the basement. We are going to drop her into the furnace and we are going to turn the furnace on 
and this is where things start to go wrong because the challenge didn't pop even though it says pop anybody a character into the furnace the challenge didn't pop so we're just going to move straight on to the next one and we're going to make our way all the way around the map to the creek where the JCB is with the big hole in the ground and we'll move on to the wet bandit challenge and on the way there we're going to come to this last house on the right here and we're just going to shoot the guy who's hanging around this house again that is a little bit of prep work for later on for the doing the rounds challenge so for this next challenge what we need to do is dump a target down a mole hole uh, not a mole hole, a manhole and it just happens to be a crowbar on the JCB that we can use to open one of the manhole covers and we're just going to wait for the construction worker at the JCB to make his way over past this manhole and we will knock him out and then we will dump his body down into the sewer so here he comes now we're going to target him knock him out retrieve our crowbar grab his body and we're going to drop him down into the sewers and challenge number two has failed to pop for us for some reason even though it says drop a target into a manhole which is exactly what we did so again we're just going to move on one more time and we're going to make our way back around the map and what we're going to do now is make our way to basically where we've shot the mailman and we're going to collect up all of the newspapers he's dropping or all the newspapers he dropped now the reason we've gone all the long way around is because obviously we've killed people and we've left their bodies lying around they do get spotted and panic does ensue in small pockets around these areas which is why we just do what we've got to do and move straight on to the next task now, as you can see we've been a little bit quick because they are still clearing up the bodies around the mailman so we're just gonna have to wait these guys out basically and I'm hoping that when they bag the bodies up they'll stop being enforcers and we'll be able to approach the uh, newspapers that are on the floor So one of the bodies is being carried off, but unfortunately the other body has attracted some attention. So we're just going to wait for this guy to lose interest and move away or bag the body up and go away. And then we can go and take the newspapers. So he has stopped being an enforcer for the moment. So I'm going to start approaching the newspapers now and his friend has just come back who is an enforcer so once again we are waiting and like I said from the very start of this challenge I've had multiple recording errors multiple sound errors uh, mistakes of my very own and challenges that do not seem to want to pop so this is quite a messy run so once the bodies are nice and clear we can approach the newspapers we want to pick up all four of them and grab the package as well if you wish we don't need that now the reason we've been going around killing people is those people will intercept the mailboxes and not give us really enough time to just run around and post these uh, five newspapers but with those people out of the way we should have now enough time to post five newspapers in five mailboxes and the reason we've took these people out is because we need to do this before the first mail uh, newspaper is discovered and retrieved so with less people retrieving them we've got more chance of making our way all the way around we're all using just the houses mostly on the outside edge of the map because they are mostly uninhabited so with most of the people taken care of we've done two just down the side of Helen's West house and we're going to return to this empty house here and we will post one in here and then move on to the house at the end of the road where we killed a guy 
and the house with the boat outside of it and if we can get these last two done before anyone comes along and collects a newspaper we should get the doing the rounds challenge so this is the full, uh, fifth and final one and there we go we get the doing the rounds challenge so now we're going to move on and we are going to do the raking it in challenge uh, this one again goes a little bit wrong for me so we're going to make our way back to the construction site in the very corner of the map and where the gardener is the we outfit we usually get and on the back of his truck we find a rake and just as it happens the politician who we need to take out Mr Blake is just at Janus's house so we're gonna run our way over here and we are gonna try and plant our rake just on the path here somewhere now placing this rake is somewhat difficult so we're just going to wait for the guard to go past so he doesn't trick on it and we're going to place the rake where I was before I moved so you want the rake a little bit closer to the fence than it is there I put it smack bang in the middle of the pathway and it doesn't work which is exactly where I put it in all of my practice runs and it worked every time but for today it doesn't seem to want to work and our target moves a little bit off closer to the fence as he walks past so the plan here is that Mr. Blake will come along he will tread on that rake he will knock himself out we will then shoot his guard shoot Mr. Blake and take his outfit for to become the politician challenge but this is where it all goes horribly wrong I had it all nicely lined up and no nope, and they both walk straight past it so we're going to very quickly retrieve our rake and we will set up again for when Mr. Blake leaves this house we're in front of. Now unfortunately, if you get too close to Mr. Blake, he tries to engage you in conversation. I thought I was far enough away here, but he's engaged me in conversation, so we're just going to run away so that he loses interest and stops talking to himself and then make our way back and we're going to place it and as you can see we've triggered him a second time and we were twice the distance away so this whole run through has been extremely weird lots of random things have happened that have caused unnecessary problems and now I can't place the rake anywhere so once again delaying us more than we really want to be I'm not but once we get the rake finally placed on the floor if we can do it before Mr. Blake leaves so there we go finally so again we're just going to place it roughly in the middle of the pathway there we're going to make our way away a safe distance and we'll just have to wait here now for Mr. Blake or Mr. William Blake I believe it is the third to lose the interest that no one's coming to answer the doors to him um, would you answer the door to a politician so he will eventually make his way away from the property back down the pathway and he will tread on that rake and knock himself out there he goes so we're now going to take out his guard take out the other guard who saw what was going on and he gets a shot off so now he's alerted all the guards at Janus's house we're going to put on the politician's outfit for the become the politician challenge and I forgot to kill the politician who is one of our targets so in the meantime like I said before we're just going to move on because we are leaving a lot of trouble in our wake we're going to go in, into the tunnel between Janus's house and this house and we are going to retrieve ourselves a change of outfit that is lying on the floor in here namely that of one of Janus's guards it's just around the corner here we'll have that gun, we might need the ammo we're going to put on the guards outfit and we are going to retrace our steps back out so the next challenge was going to be 
the uh, put on the barbecue king's outfit which is pretty self-explanatory but we shot the barbecue king some time ago and his body should now have been cleared away and all the bodies in that area are taken to Janus's shed and if they're not in Janus's shed they're in one other place so we're going straight into Janus's shed and no body so I'm going off to the op house opposite Cassidy's which is full of Cassidy's bodyguards just checking the body has been moved it's nowhere around the shed they don't always put them inside, sometimes they leave them outside. So I've checked into Janus's uh, uh, property as well. And I spent another 20 minutes looking for the Barbecue King's body. Over there. And I can't find it anywhere. But if you uh, do what I did at the beginning by sniping him, his body should be taken to one of those two places. So again, because we have the law on our tail. We are going to move on to our last challenge today which will be Toll Troll and that entails pushing someone, anyone, into the well in the center of the park. Now you could just kill the guy giving out the flyers and drag him over and dump him in there but there are a number of police still in this area and this guy right here who looks like Jack Nicholson stands next to the well. So in he goes, and that will get us the Toll Troll Challenge. And once again we have a lot of heat on our tail, so we are going to run hopefully for the exit. And it's at that point I realise I failed to kill the politician, so I'm going to quickly run off and put a few bullets in him before we exit the mission. So, with that all said, and me just getting my way over to where the politician is if you follow this path and this route and you don't get all the randomness and glitches that I got you should get the breaking the news challenge they must pie challenge the wet bandit challenge the doing the rounds challenge the raking it in challenge and the toll toll challenge uh, like I said, this this was a horrible, horrible morning for me, trying to get this recorded and re-recorded and edited correctly. So it does appear very, very messy. Apologies for that, but I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.